Good morning, everyone. Donut here. It's like 8 a.m. I've been getting up pretty freaking early this month. This month of sober November. Today's a pretty cool day, though. Uh, Evan Hafer was on Rogan yesterday, and today he is going to come on the Unsubscribe Podcast. Oh, no. Yes, I am part of the Unsubscribe Podcast once again. I took a little six-month break there for uh, creative differences. And I am back on there with Fat Electrician and Brandon Herrera and Eli Double Tap. We are all co-hosts on there. We're going to rotate out because Fat Electrician still doesn't live here in, in San Antonio. And then Brandon's, Brandon's doing his congressional run, so he's going to be busy. And then some days I'm going to be busy, so we have a couple of co-hosts so we can just rotate each other out. We all have large followings, and we're very likable folk, I would think. And we don't cut other people off, and we let people say what they want to say. It's pretty good. i got to figure out this camera for the driving situation, because if I'm going to be doing the everyday vlogs, I'm probably going to be talking in the car quite a bit, trying to do a whole Sam Sue leg here. That is one of the kindest, funniest people I've seen on YouTube, and he does daily vlogs, and I can't stop watching him. It's not like they're super exciting. He just talks for like 20 minutes about fitness, and then he goes to the gym and gets a massive pump, and it's inspirational as shit. If Sam Sulek can do reps until failure, then I can do reps until failure, and honestly, watching his videos while I work out is pretty motivational. <laughs> you know what I haven't done in a... Uh, at least a month, dude. I haven't flown in over a month, which is weird. Um, I just chosen not to travel and to focus on health and family and moving and business and stuff. And it's been pretty nice, but I'm getting the hankering for wanting to fly somewhere again, somewhere warm. Range day is coming up here soon in a couple weeks. I might escape San Antonio and just go somewhere for a little vacay for a couple days, but we'll see. In the meantime, this range day is kicking my ass. We've got a lot of cool people coming. I'm up at 8 a.m. driving around because I need a ghost, a ghost energy drink. Fat electrician Nick, he got me hooked on those things. I don't think I've shown the podcast cast house in a minute. So, uh, show Tweak's lovely wife. She's working with Unsubscribe. She went and stocked up since I haven't been drinking. Um, <laughs> there's a backlog of Tito's in here. Wait, Tweak and Show are married? I thought she was his handler. <laughs> <laughs> Evan. Yes, sir. What does Joe Rogan smell like? Uh, elk meat, coffee, and weed. Hell yeah. <laughs> Perfect combination. Yeah, no, that's, like, that's America to me. That's America. <laughs> it's free right there. That was by far one of the funniest podcasts I've ever, ever, ever been on with, uh, with Evan Hafer and Brandon and Eli. My God, the stories that Evan has, you know, after being... he, I, I didn't know... I didn't know he joined... The military in 1995 so he was a green beret for the invasion of iraq the stories that man has is amazing but you know after he was a green beret he was in the cia for years and he, he couldn't exactly tell every single story on the podcast <laughs> that is a interesting dude a very driven interesting awesome guy and i i'm really happy to call him my friend sorry just had to suck him off there for a minute be sure to check out that one though. That's gonna be unsubscribed coming up here in a couple of weeks. It's probably gonna already be out by the time this video comes out, by the time this vlog comes out. I am trying my damnedest to catch up on vlogs right now. I've got a full-time vlog editor now. I wanna do the 30-day vlog challenge again. I think that's the fourth or fifth time I've said it in the past couple vlogs, tisms. For now, we're gonna grab some sushi with Evan and Eli and Miss Heather. She's been planning her uh, Die Hard Christmas video. So she's been with some of our videographers, editors all day while I was doing the podcast. And then we're gonna go get John. We're gonna hopefully get John's eBay business set up tonight so he can start selling some of these shirts that, that I don't really need. We're gonna be using ShipStation. Use the code donut for, <laughs> I don't even remember the ad. Yeah, we're gonna be using ShipStation integrated with eBay to sell a bunch of the stuff that just clutter in the house, man. And I'll be sure to tell you guys what his eBay name is so that you can check out some of that stuff if you want it. Cause it's gonna, I mean, it's gonna be cool shit. A lot of t-shirts though, Ma mainly t-shirts. A lot of Black Rifle t-shirts because they just, they've given me 400 over the years and my closet is full, bud. But for now, some sushi. From the best sushi place in San Antonio, I almost don't want to tell you guys because I don't want to get crowded, I don't want a secret out there, but the best sushi place in San Antonio, if you ever do visit San Antonio, is this place here across from the rim. 
it looks like a, a little city, but it's nestled in over here. It's called Unico, U-N-I-K-O. God damn, it's good. Unico is right there to the left of the stairs. You got Ruth Chris's Steakhouse right here, which is overpriced, very, very overpriced. Mediocre, very mid steaks. And then there's an Italian place right here that's super, super overpriced mid also. Don't leave your shit in your car here, it'll get stolen. My, uh, my buddy Richard Ryan, he used to live in these apartments up here and he had a Raptor. His Raptor got broken into, I think he said like nine or 10 times. start working out in the morning this is just nice I don't know why I don't know why I wait till the end of the day I'm tired I uh, didn't get to go to Sons of Liberty Gunworks today to buy those guns I'm gonna go tomorrow one of the reasons that I'm buying two guns is I want one for myself because I don't have a Sons of Liberty gun yet and I'm building out an AR for Mr. Ballin's manager uh, met him and he asked Brandon and I to build him out a pretty Dope AR, so we're gonna do a Mark 18 clone for him. Time to put on our nightly Sam Sulek to see what he's doing today. And tonight is shoulders and back. So I'm gonna knock that out for a little bit over an hour. Hopefully, I'm not working today. It's the 29th, it's the end of the month. I got all my ads done this month. I got 11, I think. Hopefully I'm not repeating myself from last night, but I think I got 11 or 12 done this month, which is Fantastic. It's going to be a nice down payment on the house I'm looking to buy in Bernie. Oh, baby Sam, where you at? Beep boop. Hawkeye, okay, working out times. Bye, guys. Thanks, thanks for hanging around. Hi, welcome to November 30th. Last day of sober November. I'm going to keep it going for a while, though. I might do sober December too. I have no idea. Range day is coming up here in a bit. I don't want to say the exact date because I don't know when this vlog is going to come out. Uh, my vlogs are for my three month backlog now though. So that, that kind of sucks, but it's great to see you guys. I'm heading down to downtown San Antonio to Sons of Liberty Gunworks to buy two or three ARs from uh, Mike Mahalski who owns Sons of Liberty. Very good friend of mine, great guy. I never put it out on the channel. Um, I think I talked about it just a little bit, but there was a small police department in Tennessee that hit me up and they were saying, hey, uh, we don't have long guns and we almost got into an active shooter situation and, you know, we all we had were our, our little Glock 9 millimeters. And so I happened to just meet Mike Mahalski, who owns Sons of Liberty. And so he fully kitted optics, everything, 10 patrol rifles and sent it to him for free. Didn't ask for anything. So Mike's a great guy. Anytime I can help support Sons of Liberty, I'm gonna help. Like I said, Brandon's right behind me. We're gonna go down there and say hey to Mike, buy a couple guns, maybe a couple other things. We'll see. I just saw that Tesla started shipping out their cyber trucks today. I might actually buy. Oh shit, oh no, that's a lot of traffic. That's a lot of damage. I'm gonna actually buy a uh Thoughts. Thoughts are not here today. That's why I have ghost warheads. God damn, if that's not a sign from God, right there, Tesla sign, big red sign that says Tesla. I might get a, a Model S Plaid because I don't know how long you guys have been watching my vlogs, but I had a Hellcat Superstock. I traded that for a Model S Plaid Tesla. Love that Tesla. But uh, Heather told me that she's always, her dream car, she's always wanted a 76 or 66 Bronco. 
wait, what is it? Is it 66 or 76? I don't know. It's one of the old ones. So I traded that Tesla in and got her her dream Bronco. And now I'm missing the Tesla, especially in the San Antonio traffic like this. The auto drive was awesome in this traffic like this. It was amazing. And it kind of did, you know, zero to 60 in 1.8 seconds, the fastest production vehicle on the market. Not that you should be driving fast or speeding on the interstate ever. The only bad thing about that is Heather will not ride in it with me. She says it feels weird because the acceleration and braking in those electric cars is kind of weird. And they're fast. Not that I ever drive fast. Oh no, there's a wreck. You know what? It's probably someone making a vlog while they're driving up here. Full ass wreck. I gotta say, you know, you know what I have a problem with on the uh, the vlog channel? Trying to talk in my my main channel voice. Like this is kind of my main channel voice. You know, hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're gonna talk about every time I'm on camera, I start to get animated. I don't really use my real voice, which you know, I'm, I'm being fast now and I'm using that voice. Like this is my real voice right here. This is this is what I normally do when I'm talking to my friends and stuff. I need to get used to talking to you guys like that a little bit more. Not like this. They got shot in the face by the cops. <laughs> the left lane is only for passing. <laughs> Where's my gun? Shout out to Sam Sulik. I don't know if I've mentioned him yet ever before. So you'll jerk off on the rifles for money? Uh, let me get a barrel here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're a good guy. Oh, you're a good guy. Nice. Yeah, last year, uh, Zach Dacre and some of his boys came over. The Tiger Strike one was a production run that we did for Brown Now. Yeah, what, what environment would that be used in? Oh, that would San be for yeah, I would say, what is it? Urban graffiti, you know, areas. Yeah, to nice. blend in with the graffiti yeah, on the yeah. walls. Okay. It's the San Francisco so like, pattern. Yeah, like inner city neighborhoods and yeah, stuff, that's where you would use that? So it's a patrol. It's a patrol rifle oh, then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, got you. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So all the employees have these. So when we bring in our personals. Uh... Buy it. High Point rolls. before it was High Point. Like Mike was originally. Yeah. What was it called before it was uh, High Point? What were they called? Uh, They're out of Ohio, aren't they? We should just go go the Glock's Mansfield divisions. So Mike's yeah. first handgun. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Stellar Stellar Arms. That's Stoller disgusting, Arms. dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> pretty. Ew. High point. I'm pretty sure Kyle will give I want you a hell of a deal. On. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> where? I wanted to build one for myself, and I think I told you guys on the last vlog that I'm building pretty much a Mark 18 clone out for Mr. Ballin's manager. Really great dude. Uh, this is going to be his. I'm going to build this guy out. It's just one of these Sons of Liberty. One of their basic XO3s. Your basic, I say basic AR. These things are so well built and they're light as shit. Sons of Liberty is one of the best AR manufacturers around. But look what they happen to have. They had one last Task Force 69 rifle. You know who that is. Old Garantham. I got me a Task Force 69 rifle. Ooh, look at that. Suppressor ready. I am going to put my right nut right there beside the Task Force 69 face and take a picture of it and send it to Grantham. So that's cool. I finally got one of these guys. John, what season of Rick and Morty is that? Season four. Oh, season four of Rick and Morty. Okay, so we're watching some of season five of Rick and Morty because season six came out. We haven't watched any of that. So we're doing Mr. Nimbus. I'm going to make some steak, some steak tacos, but it's going to be like Asian steak tacos with Asian slaw. I'll show you what I'm doing. I made some. Some, uh, some creamy cheese chicken protein burritos pretty much some good meal preps right there it's been a busy night dude i made this got the house clean um put my nuts on grand thumbs rifle and sent them the picture uh, and also i'm gonna make some food <laughs> that's just steak but a regular cooked steak but you would season it with salt, pepper, like garlic powder, and Chinese five spice. Cut it up, put it in miso. Put it in some miso paste, rice wine vinegar, a little bit of salt, pepper, and a little bit of sugar. And then put it on your tortilla. And then that's Napa cabbage uh, cut up with wasabi, mayonnaise, and rice wine vinegar, and some red, paper red pepper flakes. 
Asian steak tacos. Ugh. Ugh. I haven't had a rest day in 24 days. I've just been <laughs> in the gym hard. So I think I might take a rest day. And I, I was like, man, it's the 30th. I don't have any ads until December. I'm going to go play some games. It's like my last night before I got to start grinding on in making videos and ads again. But now I laid down and like looked at my phone for five minutes. And, you know, it's late, man. It's like 9 p.m. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I might, I might go to sleep. I'm, you know what? I'm going to go... I'm gonna go give Phantom Liberty, uh, Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty a try. Brandon's already f beat it three times. He, he won't stop talking about it. I'm gonna give it a try and try not to fall asleep. Oh man, them tacos are so good, dude. Them, that miso steak and that wasabi slaw. My God, I gotta write my cookbook. I'm still f mad that those pieces of shit stole my cookbook out of my truck handwriting that thing for four years. I hope that they fucking wreck. And their family has to watch it. I want my cookbook back. Alright, I'm gonna go try Cyberpunk. December 1st! Here we go. I don't have plans for today, man. It's uh, back on the grind time, so I got to start making videos again. I have another seven seven ads to do this month. Knocked out 10 or 11 last month. Sorry if I sound like a broken record. I fucking forget what I say in the previous vlogs. Sunday, we're shooting Heather's Die Hard skit. Uh, today, I got nothing going on. Bam and Evan Hafer are still in town, so I might try to see what they're up to. Tomorrow, no plans. Fuck, it's, it's, I, I don't know, man. This is one of those weekends where we all end up where I end up. I don't necessarily have to start working on the first day in December, but, you know, I want to try to knock as many ads as I can out uh, early this month so then I can have the last part of the month to focus on other things. Plus, the range day is coming up here soon. I'm pretty excited for that. That's going to be a couple days where I'm not going to be working. We're going to have all the boys in town. This only happens once or twice a year probably gonna jump off the wagon for a little bit then and have a little fun we've rented out a really really cool ass bar the night of the range day for all the boys to hang out at that night so just gonna you know just hop off the i'm just gonna hop off the wagon for like two or three days and get back into the swing of things hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs by the way i have a new editor for the vlog channel you may remember him from some of my older vlogs when i lived in fort mill and i had the skate shop my first skate shop um, the manager tyler He's actually an incredible editor and he's been editing my vlogs for me. Hence all the memes. Right now though, meeting up with Brandon, gonna get some brunch done and then figure out the plan for this weekend until Heather's skit. Of course I forgot my batteries. Hi. Hi. What are we doing? Uh, we're gonna ride a Kelly Eli. Yes. This is a Die Hard. Die hey, it's a Die Hard shoe. We have an office building, a big old skyscraper office building. It's the first scene being shot in here. I gotta get my batteries. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Are we gonna touch tips? <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, hi. I like your shirt, Cody. Thanks, dude. It's, it's, no, it's not Heather's. Okay. This is the other one, right? No, that's the right one. Did. Yeah. Oh, well, that's why I said I like it. <laughs> Nerd. You're gonna go touch kids. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> So good. Snappy. You look like you're a pastor in LA. Here is our Kawasaki Tower that Heather's gonna be John McClain in. Or Nagasaki Tower. Hiroshima Tower? I don't know, some shit like that. Oh, dude. They must be turning the frogs gay in San Antonio today. We're kind of waiting around right now for Brandon and all the other guys to show up. Eli's gonna be the first one to die. He's the one that's gonna have, uh, now I have a machine gun written on his chest. That's why he looks like a pedophile right now. Oh, sorry, German. I guess I'm just chilling until it's my turn to die. I don't know which terrorist I am, but Heather's gonna schwack me. That sounded kind of hot. 
Dude, the atmosphere for Kawasaki Tower is perfect. Even the music, got the Christmas music going. Oh, <laughs> I don't remember which floor we were on. All right, I gotta make a call before I go anywhere. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, Damn, boy. You look good. So, uh, good enough to be dropped off of a building, I believe. <laughs> what would up. you like us to Dirty Harry. <laughs> this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world. Where are the children at? Hello, it's, it's very nice to meet you, Congress. How tall are you? About you. Yeah, well, I... You have men that you eat in your face. Yeah. No children. Oh, that yeah, yeah, Dahmer. Dahmer. I mean, I don't feel like you need this, but it's you want to take some. <laughs> I say, want to take what, some watch some videotapes. <laughs> All three of you mother buggers back for this. I've been asked 500 times about it. We love you, Nick. Oh, Nick's accident? <laughs> yeah, Nick's accident. Oh, dude, Nick, we're sorry to hear about your accident. My fucking mom texted me. She's like, what are you fucking Nicholas? <laughs> Guys, go to Nick's comments and ask him about the accident. He's not doing so hot. Yeah, shoot him a DM. Wish him the best. Make sure he's uh, fast healing. We we love you, buddy. Love you, Nick. What's funny is that when this comes out three years after we've known this, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I release this, fucking spot. bring it back. Right. <laughs> Right, I'm doing it, guys, guys, guys. Hey, it's my 50th birthday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, guys, yeah, when I was 36, I know I'm 50 now. I released this vlog, finally. I know you guys were looking forward to it. We're shooting Heather's thing today, if you couldn't tell that already. This is kind of a late intro, but Brandon's looking good. I really do think the cowboy boots look good. Yeah, I need real dress shoes. <laughs> Eli is a racist, uh, slash serial killer. And then he's acting in a skit as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Let me guess, Heather's going to peg you in the head with a coffee the formula works <laughs> what's your role right now i've been it's method acting this for five years <laughs> <laughs> we got an eddie here i think eddie's gonna be a terrorist too so many of my friends are dying today <laughs> I didn't know it was this kind of movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Heather, what kind of movie is this again? <laughs> Hi, Cody. I am the mastermind behind this organization. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Cody. Eli, you're right here. Thank you. It's so dirty. Yeah. I'm gonna roll around in, in the bed too. Are we filming that later? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to die. Does that get you to 14? Yep. Watch and roll. Double check the weapons. Or don't. Love your dad. Yeah. Have ourselves a nice little uh, Brandon Lee situation here. Our very own Russ set. Damn, dude. You, you always go old with the references. Because, I mean, you know, these days it's Alec Baldwin. Brandon Lee's back in the yeah, day. Yeah, that, that, that's, that accidental shooting is so news, man. Yeah, the set of Crow. Is that, is that what it was? Yeah. 1996? Something like that? You know, 
randomly walked so Alec Baldwin could run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have her, shoot her! Can I get a stop resisting? Please stop resisting. <laughs> I don't want to do full. Eli had to go find his chromosomes. <laughs> Why don't you ever do that to me? You want me to? You want to punch me in the face and try to choke me, and then I throw you over the ledge of a building? Yeah, the masculine urge to, to do that. Yeah. Okay. How he comes. <laughs> That's the only way. Murder me. <laughs> He's falling. He's like, fine. Like, <laughs> 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 what was it? What did you say? I did a number three. Yeah. <laughs> I did a number three. I did a number three. Yeah. You try to record like full HD and me getting kicked in the nuts. Hell yeah, yeah, brother. I mean, <laughs> God, Heather's side. <laughs> this could be you. Okay. <laughs> 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 Do that again. <laughs> you know, where'd all the dragons go? <laughs>